We are now less than one month until the Tokyo Olympics, and today organizers said they will reallocate tickets for some events. Now, it follows the decision to limit venues to 50% capacity, up to a maximum of 10,000 local fans. But officials had already sold more tickets than that maximum number for the opening and closing ceremonies, as well as competitions for eight different sports. Now, those who have tickets will be automatically entered into lotteries, and the results will be announced on the official ticket sale website July 6th. Three Minnesota gymnasts are preparing for their shot at the Olympic Games. They will be competing for a spot on Team USA this weekend. And today, Arkaya Edwards checks in with some of their biggest fans. We My sisters. sisters. Oh. You can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> a similar look and the same passion. Both Megan Johnson and Emily Hogan love gymnastics. We coach together for Hopkins High School and then we judge for the high school league. And so we're just big fans of the sport. We've been involved our whole lives. And the sisters have some exciting travel plans. This yeah. weekend is the Olympic trials for Team USA happening in St. Louis, Missouri. Well, right now there's two um, from Minnesota that have a really good shot of making it onto the team, Suni Salee and Grace McCallum. If Lee and McCallum beat out the competition, they will be the first ever Minnesotans on the U.S. women's gymnastics team. Both Grace and Suni have been on the world's teams, but they haven't made it onto the Olympic team yet. By the highest score on this The same team. cannot be said for Minnesota men, but still, the sisters are rooting for a local guy who too is going for gold. <laughs> Shane Wiskus yeah. is a gymnast from Minnesota as well. All three have a good shot at making it to Tokyo. And at one point, Johnson thought she would be there too. So I actually went to Rio in 2016. I was a volunteer there. Um, and so I applied again to go to Tokyo for 2020. And I got accepted to volunteer uh, in the gymnastics arena. But then COVID hit. They figured this girl's trip is the next best thing. Well, unfortunately, they're not allowing international volunteers to come, so I decided let's go to St. Louis and support them that way. We love you, we support you, we're so excited for you, no matter what, we're proud of you, and um, we wish you the best of luck from all your fans in Minnesota. Kaya Edwards, CARE 11 News. Plenty of fans here in Minnesota. And our Dave Schwartz will be traveling to Japan next month to follow the progress of all our Minnesota athletes in all the sports for the summer games. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday night at 10 leading up to the Olympics for Dave's stories on some of the Minnesota standouts that we need to be watching out for.